Oh, hey, it's Rob. And uh, again, this is uh, another video. I wanted to try and catch you up on where things are in the whole house situation. You know, normally I would try and post something of what it is that I'm doing, but this is pretty much what I'm doing. I'm going through drawers, I'm cleaning stuff out, I am going through closets, I am going through books, I am trying to collect things together into, I guess, sort of, sort of piles. <laughs> I don't know what you'd call them, but, uh, uh, you know, it's, this is just what I have to do. You know, I've got to try and get this place as cleaned out as much as possible so that we can get it either sold off or rented or whatever it is that we're going to do. We haven't decided yet realistically i think the the overwhelming thing at this point is to sell it uh primarily because both of my sisters live out of state and i'm the only one that would be you know here to to use it and bemidji's nice but this particular place has all the memories of mom and you know next door was was the memories of dad and <clears throat> There's a lot of stuff here that I don't really necessarily want to keep with me. Uh, besides, this winter has been just a... It's been horrible. Anyway, I just really wanted to show you kind of what's going on with all the cleaning and everything. I'm trying to donate a bunch of stuff, mostly clothes and household items that you know I'm not going to use. Things that are probably not going to... You know, they're not going to bring a big buck at any kind of a, a estate sale. And, of course, I have to get in a little bit of playtime with the dogs. They uh, are very insistent on that. They're very insistent on letting me know that it is time for me to not do the thing that I am doing and that I should be paying attention to them. So trying to cull a lot of the estate sale items, things that might actually bring in some money for for the... Uh, for the overall estate. Uh, some of those things are going to have to wait until spring because uh, they're under snow and I can't get to them. But I need to try and get as much done as possible now while I can. Uh, I'm taking some time off work, uh, trying to get as much done as I can in that time before I have to go back to working full time and just being able to do stuff in the evenings or to try and steal some time during the day and then make it up in the evenings. But uh, so that's the donation stuff. There's more that's going to go in the donation bin. I'm going to have make have to make multiple trips, but I can do that. So, all right, some fun stuff that I found in here. This is the idea machine. This is basically a small uh, voice recorder that was my dad's along with a bunch of tapes, an old cap gun. This used the roll caps. <laughs> I think this was mine when I was a kid. Um, nifty can opener. That's a chunk here. This is kind of a telephone amplifier. This thing fits on your headset. I think this is probably a piece of crap, but at the same point, it's old. Um, cut a glass jewelry doohickey. A big uh, makeup poof. Um, this is a fingernail clipper set. A West Clocks travel clock. Still in the box. Um, this does work. Another uh, um, nail case. This was interesting. This is an old, old bottle. This was up at her cabin. I think this is probably older than I am. Um, cork in the bottle. Might even be able to figure it out. I just thought that was kind of interesting number of uh, knickknacks and trinkets. Some of these are um, 
some of these might be of value. I don't know. There are some of them in there that are just kind of kitschy, but some of them are actually pretty cool. So, a few other things over here that are, you know, it's like here's a travel iron, and then this is a voltage adapter kit for European travel or for worldwide travel. More stuff to go through. Uh, there are pictures and things in here that I need to go through. Still have to go through the china cabinet. I have not done that. Uh, there are piles of things over here that I have yet to go through. I think a lot of these are cookbooks and various things, but you know, it's a variety, so I'm going to need to figure that out. That cabinet is empty. That cabinet is empty. Bookshelf here. Mostly gone through the, all the important stuff has been kind of pulled out. That little container up on top is one that I probably need to go through. The garage. I just I don't even want to think about this right now. Uh, I need to get into that closet and that cabinet and all this stuff. And all the, uh, the two freezers here, all that stuff up on the top. Most of that I think is going to be junk. Before most of that, I need to go through this shelf and destroy get rid of whatever is on here that needs to go away because this shelf is in the way it needs to go there's other stuff over here this uh, refrigerator freezer is I believe dead as a doornail and so it needs to be completely deuced Tool cabinet, some automotive stuff in here. Uh, not sure about that. Don't know what's in those. And those can probably go into donations. Uh, yeah. yeah. More stuff to go. More stuff. I would really like to come up with something more interesting. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not doing anything else. This is it. This is the this is the life that I have right now. It's driving me crazy. I want to be able to do some creative stuff again. And I know I'll be able to. Uh, I've got the hot sauce in a new a new uh, fermenting jar that's got a vent on it. Um, I it did overflow, so I uh, I had to clean that mess up. But it seems to be bubbling along nicely now. Uh, other than that. Just give me time. Please give me time. Oh, this is this is taking far longer than I wanted to. Anyway, uh, until next time. See you guys.